Hi, my name is Mike Fetters. I'm the Walter Carpenter Distinguished Professor uh, at Babson College. And along with my colleagues, Patty Green, Mark Rice, and John Butler, edited a book on university-based entrepreneurship ecosystems. The importance of this book is that given where we are in the world today with uh, economies needing new businesses and needing growth, entrepreneurship has become a way to foster that growth within uh, different regional and economic settings. We thought that uh, to, to also stimulate this, what better source or center than a university, which is a long-standing institution in many countries, probably the second longest-standing uh, institution in the country, uh, second only to uh, churches. So what we've, what we've done is, is studied uh, six schools that have created incredibly successful entrepreneurship ecosystems and looked at their pathways to success, the critical factors to success, and what an entrepreneurship ecosystem looks like exactly, what are the, the common attributes. And the schools that we studied were not US-centric, but global. So we looked at uh, Tech de Monterey in Mexico, EM Lyon in France, National University in Singapore, as well as Babson College, the University of Texas down in Austin, and the University of Southern California. And we chose these schools not only for their dynamic entrepreneurship ecosystems, but also because they, do, they represent a wide variety of schools. E.M. Lyon is quite a small school in uh, France, totally focused on entrepreneurship and highly regarded and, and commonly thought of as the number one school of entrepreneurship in Europe. Uh, Tech de Monterey is a huge school. Uh, it's got uh, 33 campuses, uh, approximately 90,000 students in their main programs. They've also generated programs in community colleges and in high schools. And one of the consistent parts of every program for Tech de Monterey is that the fact that they created um, entrepreneurship learning modules that every student has to take. And also in many of their uh, campuses, they've created these phenomenal incubators to help stimulate business because their goal is to help the Mexican economy grow through entrepreneurship activity. So what we did then is uh, set up an outline for each chapter um, and all the schools then talk and focus on where they are right now, what are their success factors, and what are the challenges they face going forward. So let me if I quickly summarize their success factors, let me highlight uh, three. One is a sustained commitment by, and, uh, by the leadership of the university or the college. And by sustained commitment, I mean resources, focus, and uh, faculty. The second is that uh, everything is an evolutionary stage. So you've got to be incredibly op opportunistic. As you start one part of your entrepreneurship e ecosystem, you keep looking for ways to improve and innovate off of that. So it, it becomes an uh, accelerator in, in effect. And the third part is that you launch on several different planes. You launch on a uh, curriculum development and educational plane. You launch on a research plane to help stimulate research and help improve entrepreneurship in your region of the world or across the globe. And you also uh, launch on a community plane to reach out and connect entrepreneurships to the school, to connect governments to the school. So we think what we've done is created in our book a phenomenal helpful phenomenally helpful guide to uh, developing entrepreneurship ecosystems and to stimulating uh, entrepreneurship activity around your university and, and in, around the government. So I would encourage all of you to uh, take a look at this book. The book is the university is university based entrepreneurship ecosystems global studies, and it will lay out uh, a variety of roadmaps for successful creation of entrepreneurship programs and at your school or uh, by your government. Thank you.